researchers have discovered or concluded that about 95% of us Americans are going to die of inflammation, some form of inflammation. And what I look at is how do we turn off that inflammation? Now, you're told every day to take ibuprofen, Tylenol, Advil, leave, in all these different things. And all those drugs, if they work, those that will diagnose what your problem is. So if aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol takes care of your inflammation, those drugs are classified as type 2 prostaglandin pain inhibitors. In other words, if you have too many type 2 prostaglandins, they work. Big question is, obviously, what are type 2 prostaglandins? Those are the bad fats. You got two kinds of oils. You got omega-3 and omega-6. Omega-3 are anti-inflammatory. Omega-6 are pro-inflammatory. And you need inflammation because when you cut yourself or burn yourself or overwork something, you need some inflammation to bring your immune system in to go and repair and heal it. The only problem is the average American has got 25 or 50 to 1 omega-6s to omega-3s. So what are omega-3s? Omega-3s are wild animals, wild vegetables, wild fruit, everything that we could have gotten the first two or three million years on this planet. The omega-6s are what we got about starting about 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago, we discovered pottery. And when we started that pottery, then we had a way to put grains and dairy in to be stored to eat year-round. Frogs and chickens didn't work too well in pottery, so but the, the, the milk they found, we could, we could make cheese and make it last. And grains, we could feed ourselves for the long winters in ancient times. And that's when heart disease started. That's when atherosclerosis started. That's when diabetes and cancer. That's when irritable bowel syndrome, all these different conditions came about about that time. So when you look at your diet, what we're supposed to be eating is what we could have eaten you know, several million years ago, basically. Um, there's nowhere on the planet that you can get wheat year-round. Yet people eat wheat for breakfast, cereal, have sandwiches for lunch, and then pasta for dinner. Flour, flour, flour. Flour plus water makes glue. Flour plus milk makes Elmer's glue. So if you're eating glue all the time, how healthy do you think you're going to be? And that's all inflammatory. The dairy's omega-6. The grains are omega-6. Meat beef and chicken and lamb, those are all omega-6 if they're not, if they're fed grains. So when they, when they, when they raise the cattle, they're going to feed them in the open prairie. They're going to be eating grasses and whatever's, else, whatever's in the, on, the, on the prairie. And they get fattened up and they grow and they get big. And then before, when they take them to the slaughterhouse, they load them up on corn and grains and make them inflame and make them get enormously large and then that's very profitable. But you take an omega-3, which is any wild animal, and make it omega-6. So all fish and all moose and elk and everything out there is omega-3 until you feed it the bad things, the grains. So get grains out of your diet and you can start cutting back. You can start getting that omega-3, omega-6 back in balance because that is what the source of so many people's inflammation is. Had a patient, I explained this to him, he said, okay, I'll try it. And this is a man who was building a stone, a granite house. And all day long, he's with a chisel and sledgehammer, he's cracking blocks of granite, loads them in a wheelbarrow, takes them up ramps so he's up to the second, second floor now. And he's constantly got hand pain, he's got back pain, aches. And I'd adjust him regularly, and you know he'd get better whenever I work on him, but then it would come back. So I said, Jim, here, try this, just don't, eat the grains, cut out grains, cut out dairy, and any omega-6 you know, meats that you eat. And he goes, I can do that. Five days later, he said, he was pain-free. No back pain, no hand pain, everything, just all cleared up. And then he was, had, he was running errands the next day and stopped and had a couple slices of pizza for lunch. The pain came back. He had Subway for dinner. He said, I thought I got hit by a bus. The pain was all back. So. You know, very simply, another patient, he came in, he said, Doc, what am I going to do? When's it going to stop? I said, what? He said, losing weight. I said, why, what happened? He says, I did what you said. After 10 days, I've lost five pounds, and it's all coming off my waist. I said, well, it's got to stop sometime once you get in balance. 
He didn't need to lose a lot of weight. He was in good shape already. So, you know, it's just like there's simple things. When you have too much omega-6, when you do hydrogenated oils, when you, when you buy eggs, don't buy regular eggs. Get the omega-3 eggs. Omega-3 eggs are just chickens that are eating omega-3 oils. You know, they're getting, let's say, flaxseed. Or, you know, they're, they're, that's the normal, the way we're supposed to be. Lean to the omega-3. Learn about your fats. Turn off the all the inflammation. Get balance back in your life with food.